Hi, this is Frank from Walking for Health and Fitness, and this video is a section on my website called Ask Walking Man Frank, where I take uh, questions from readers of the site and those who've uh, purchased my products, my books, and uh, programs, and you know, reaching out for just a little bit more information. So, Bob writes, I'm doing great with the fitness walking number one workout. I do it one day, and the next day I just pleasure walk for 30 minutes. So a sort of hard, easy program. I will be 80 next month. And people tell me I look much younger. I don't know if this is true, but sincerely, since I've been doing my hard, easy routine, I have never felt better. At first, I was doing the fitness walking number one routine one day, then doing the fitness number two routine the next day. This was a bit much for me, and so I decided to change my approach, and it has been great for me. I hope you and your family stay safe in these strange times we are living in. Godspeed in all you do. Best wishes always, Bob. Okay, so thank you, Bob. So what Bob is talking about is doing the routines that are in my fitness, walking, and bodyweight exercise book. Routine number one and routine number two deal with the core four fitness movements that you can do at any time, but especially they're great while walking. They are push-ups, planks, lunges, and squats. And during any time in a walk, you can incorporate these into your walking routine. It's a great uh, fitness workout to get, and also you get your walking in. Now the hard, easy method of training simply provides your body with the extra rest it needs. Hard workouts day after day will leave you fatigued and more injury prone. The rest days give your body a chance to heal and to recover. So here's the good news about strength training and hard workouts. When you use your muscles, they become stronger. Strong muscles are a plus because they support your joints and help prevent injuries. Muscle also uses more energy than fat, so building your muscles will help you burn more calories and maintain a healthy weight. The bad news about hard workouts. Strength training, whether body weight exercises or heavy weight lifting and training, cause microscopic damage at the cellular level to your muscles. The cell membranes get torn, swollen, and full of waste products. When the cells are at this stage, they are extremely susceptible to injury. The good news about rest and recovery. Within about 48 hours, the body has repaired most of the damage to its muscles. The recovery time allows your muscles to supply the damaged cells with oxygen to repair and purge the muscles of the damaging waste products that have accumulated. If you continually do a hard workout, and that, and that includes a walking workout, before your body has repaired itself and is ready for it, you will slowly dig yourself a deeper and deeper hole of muscle exhaustion and fatigue. Eventually, you will be zapped of enough energy to complete a workout. Once in a deep hole like that, it may take weeks of downtime to catch up. If your workout day is hard, and especially if performed in hot weather, you may need 48 hours to fully recover. A complete rest day followed by an easy walk day will make you stronger for your next body weight exercise or weightlifting workout training day. This hard, easy approach also applies to you, to you if you're just walking. Walking a long distance, let's say you do a seven mile day or a 10 mile day, you go on a long walk, you'll feel that the next day. And the next day should be a recovery day. And I'll get into the recovery in a moment. Here's what you can do to aid in your recovery. Replace fluids and basically drink more water. Eat healthy recovery foods such as high quality protein. Now this includes lean chicken, lean pork, fish, lean beef, tofu, beans, lentils, low fat yogurt, milk, cheese, seeds, nuts, and eggs. You need to rest and relax to promote muscle repair. You need to stretch your muscles after you have worked out and you need to perform an active recovery. And you could perform the cool down routine that's featured in my fitness, walking and body weight exercise book. And here are some other recovery activities that you can do. Get a massage, take an ice bath, get more sleep, and try visualization exercises. A mindful meditation program can help you achieve a calm, clear attitude and reduce anxiety. The most important piece of advice is avoid overtraining. Okay, if you feel that you're tired, you need to get more rest. Basically, listen to your body. 
If you are feeling tired, sore, or notice decreased performance, you may need more recovery time or a break from training altogether. In most cases, your body will let you know what it needs when it needs it. So whether you're new to walking or not, my book, Fitness Walking and Bodyweight Exercises, will provide you with structure, know-how, and motivation to get you out walking, doing fitness on the road to a leaner and stronger body. By combining walking with the core four fitness exercises in this program, that is push-ups, squats, shoulder planks, and lunges, you will raise your heart rate, build muscle, and strengthen and tone your core muscles for that lean, physically fit look. The metabolic burn will continue long after you have completed the workout. The fitness walking and bodyweight exercise program is designed to get you out the door, complete the workout quickly, that's in 35 minutes, and have you looking forward to your next workout. So when it comes to exercise and fitness, I'm a firm believer in a low impact form of workout, okay? And fitness walking and doing bodyweight exercises is the best way to accomplish that. Remember, you need your body in working condition for the rest of your life. So by following the body weight, uh, fitness and exercises in this book and program, you will treat your body as the magnificent vessel that it is. Walking is the easiest way to get in shape and stay in shape. I've said that in most of my videos. I've said it on my website. I've said it in my books and I firmly believe that. This is Frank. Walk on.